It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got the two teams who met in Super Bowl 55. Who knows what we're in store for here on Monday Night Primetime. From a building that can get louder than almost any in the National Football League, this is GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, Focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yeah. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more likely is going to come away with the win. Set to go is the kicker, Harrison Butker. And we're off from Arrowhead. Tucker now on the return. And he's stopped on the return at the 27. So here come the Buccaneers, ready for their opening drive. They're let out by the seventh-year pro, comeback player of the year contender last season in Baker Mayfield. There's just certain quarterbacks, the way they run on the field. You just say their name and just some adjectives and attributes pop up right away. Baker Mayfield, scrappy, tough, a will to win. I'm not surprised at all to see himself back in the starting role. Not surprised at all to see him flourish. The dude is mentally tough, he's mentally strong, and he typically makes the most of his opportunities. Coming out throwing his Baker. Complete to his man, Sterling Shepard. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short on the 35. There's no route on the old proverbial rock tree cake that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. Second and three now. Baker now from the gun. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. You know, in the NFL, offensive-minded teams will call it a perfect Friday. They don't want the ball to hit the ground once. And especially on these short to intermediate throws, you've got to count on those being efficient and effective. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Here's Baker. He'll get this complete to White. And he's caught behind the line for a while. Not terribly complicated on this one. Just not the third down screen you wanted to run. Little chance they were getting the first, and apparently, little chance they were going to even gain a positive yard at all. Now on fourth down, it's Trenton Gill. Have to kick it away. Nicole Hardman on the Chiefs' return. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. So here are the Chiefs out on offense for their first drive. Leading them out is fresh off a third Super Bowl title. The standard for quarterback excellence today, Patrick Mahomes. All of us as sports fans, we know those players in the other sports that when we just think of the greatest to ever do it, a skill set that's different than everybody else, immediately a player pops in your mind. And while we have seen goats like Tom Brady and Super Bowl winners many times over like Bradshaw, Montana, and Aikman, there's just not many that have ever done it with the flair, the style, and the skill set of Patrick Mahomes. That's worthy running the slant. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Lone back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And he'll knife his way through for a pick of a four. Second and six coming up here. From the 48. That's his man. It's DeAndre Hopkins. 
get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. They gain 14 on the play. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And this defense offering no room at all up the gut there. No gain. Levante David, like so many times in his career, making that tackle. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. It's complete to Hopkins. Decent gain here, but short of the first. Hey, one thing I learned from the late, great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called Air Raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. So the officials are officially on board tonight. For the first time, the flag flies. Somebody moved early. A costly false start penalty as third down becomes much more difficult to convert as they back it up five. The penalty makes it third and eight here. They send a tight end in motion. Third down, it's Mahomes. Flags down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Backed up now after the penalty. It's third down. Out of the gun. It's Mahomes. Throw reeled in by Hopkins. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Third and 18 kills most drives right, but they find an opening and hit it to pick up the first. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Offense set for a first and 10. From the red zone now. Throwing the out route complete. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. The rookie from Georgia in on that tackle. Second down now, seven to go. Another throw for Mahomes. This throw is caught. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. All plays on the table here for third and three. Again, Mahomes to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. They've set themselves up well for an opening drive touchdown here. Brock gets first and goal. Throwing again, Mahomes. And he has the catch. Gets both feet in. That's a touchdown. The Chiefs have a great first drive and get the game's first points. DeAndre Hopkins, the touchdown. Well, whether he stays the go-to guy the entire game remains to be seen, Brock, but no doubt about it on that opening drive. He was the star. Bunch of catches and a touchdown to begin this one. Yeah, Kate, I think it's twofold. Number one, this guy, you just know, you want to get that engine started because when it revs hot, big things happen for this offense. Number two, you felt like there were people there you could pick on defensively, and this defense 
Better find some answers for this playmaker. Now Harrison Butker for the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Chiefs will jump out to a 7-0 lead. This is the 32. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. 58 yards on the punt there. And the Chiefs will get set to go on offense. Markers reset, ball at the 37. First and 10, it's Mahomes. Finds his man, it's Worthy. And he'll get it up to the 44. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Operating from the gun, here's Mahomes. In the traffic, complete! And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. That one gains seven. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Well, the offense wanted the spark, and he delivered a lightning bolt. 
Huge gain that totally changes the tone of this drive. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. Back to the air, Mahomes. On target to Worthy. And he's able to get this down to the 13. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Throwing with a blitz on the way. He brings it in. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I don't know what it is, Kate, but I love third down runs. I really do. I know the receivers don't always like it because money down, they want the ball. But a third down run for a first down could be so demoralizing to that defense. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Back to throw Mahomes. Looking end zone, but touchdown denied. Knocked away, incomplete. When you ask a lot of your defenders on that field, it is not easy to play defense in today's NFL. Not only stay in their assignments, hip pocket, but to make plays on the ball as it arrives. He was challenged with an intermediate throw, and he swatted it away with ease. Just fantastic work there, tiptoeing along the back line. The concentration was there. Great catch for six. Yeah, the concentration and the body control. I don't know how these receivers do it in this day and age. There's no space to work with, yet they have such an awareness to secure it first, to tap dance the line, and go get that touchdown. So we've got a stoppage now. Figured this might be coming. We're going to take another look to see if this was indeed a touchdown. At least right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again. Unlike these officials, we got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? No change to the call on the field, so that play's going to remain a touchdown. But Kerr to try the point after. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Chiefs stride out to an early 15 0 Tucker now on the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Here come the Bucks on offense now. And they're still looking for their first signs of life on offense. Haven't even been able to get a first down off this defense just yet.
offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Palmer coming in motion left. Mayfield on first and ten. This one's taken in by Otten. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. That's George Karloftis who got there for the stop. Sends in motion. Here we go. Second and nine. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. It's a pickup of 11. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted. And he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. First and 10 from the 41. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. Forced out to his right. He's trying to make it there, and they drop him. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. Even from the booth, Kate, I can hear that. I can hear that front seven. Tell the guys on the back end, hey, I'm going to need a couple seconds of knockdown from you guys. I'm going to get to this QB. I promise that you deliver, and that's exactly what they did. Wasted no time. the end of our first quarter three more to go still on monday night it's a two-score game early back to arrowhead in just a moment back for the start of quarter number two it's buccaneers football as we begin they'll need something big here to start out it's third and long some time. He's running for it. So third and 16, no problem for him as they get the first. They send the tight end in motion. Oh, looks like the defense got a little too excited there, and that's going to be a penalty. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. Now talk about a golden opportunity and an immediate first down following that encroachment play. Motion man set left. Now here's Mayfield. Dumped off to his running back. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. With that down the distance, this group was pretty confident in the screen would give him enough yards for the first one he did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. To the line we go. They're set, first and 10. From the gun, a run for White. And he's down into the red zone. This run gets to the 18. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Touchdown! 
Well, he found himself some space to work, and from there, all athleticism as he made his way in for six. You know, you run the ball down in the red zone, Kate, you're not always thinking touchdowns, right? Space is so hard to come by. But you, you're exactly right. His athleticism, his explosion, his speed, it puts six on the board for the offense. On is Chase McLaughlin for the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Buccaneers chop the lead in half. It's down to seven. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Nicole Hardman now on the return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Kansas City offense back out there and set to go. They have played lights out on offense. Scored their first two times out, Brock. A chance to go three for three and grow that lead here. They're out and set, first and ten. Mahomes. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, but then you gotta go finish it. You gotta go make that catch, I will say. Keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. Pistol now for Mahomes. That pass is complete to Kelsey. And a nice game here, but it's stopped short of the first. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainer's heading out to take a look. Third and a lone yard coming up. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. That's cut for the first. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, can't they say a dog is a man's best friend? Tight end that moves the chains on third down? That's a QB's best friend. They'll head up first and ten from the 42. Another throw for Mahomes. Pass complete to Wiley. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. He had to pick up a 14 yards as the chains reset. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Again, Mahomes to throw. Completes this one to Gray. And he's going to be blocked out at the 35-yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Mahomes back in the backfield, and they give it to him. And he's stopped at the 31-yard line. A pickup of two, maybe three, but most importantly, Brock, that's enough to move the six. A split second, all to kept the defense from making a stand right there. It's amazing, man, this game of inches and split-second reactions. A nice bit of burst search forward for enough to go get that first by a couple before they could finally drag him down. 
From the gun, it's Mahomes. Hauled in by Gray. And they have this round to the red zone now at the 15. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. And they've got themselves another first and 10. Working inside the red zone. This one's caught. And he's going to be just inside the 10 before he goes out. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Here's Mahomes. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs take a 13-point lead. DeAndre Hopkins, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. If you're going to complete that one successfully, Brock, you need the perfect throw. Just the right touch. And you also need a guy who can go up and get it just like that. You yeah, need to be able to muscle somebody off the ball if you're not alone. And call me a little biased. Go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> you're biased. But the success of that play does come down to the timing of the throw, uh, Kate. Uh -huh. If you don't throw it on time to that exact spot, you run out of room, and you don't give yourself that kind of chance. Butker with the extra points. And the Chiefs double their lead to 14. Tucker now on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Buccaneer offense back out for another series. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you got to imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah. here. they got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Drive starts with a carry by White. Even four that time, so six to go on second down. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after him. Football on that 47 yard line, first down. Man in motion, headed right. First down, here's Baker. Short pass brought in. And they're going to hold him down just shy of the 40. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. First and 10 from the 41. 
Tight end going in motion here. They run the counter with White. And he has enough room to gain about four. I know we all love the big home run plays, the highlight reel plays. But as an offense, these are just the stay on schedule kind of plays. I love the commitment to this run game. Keep working that body. Keep working that body. Keep working that body. And eventually, you could take the wheel away from your opponent. Mayfield now from the gun. That's complete, Mike Evans. And he's got it down to the 30 before going out. That's good for seven yards. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Move the chains! Gotta move them chains! Build momentum to keep that defense on its heels. First and ten now from the 30. They send a receiver in motion right. First and ten, it's Mayfield. It's into the hands of Wright. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. It sure keeps the defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. Second and three now. Ooh, a little movement along the line there. That's going to cost the defense five yards. So keep that second and short play in your back pocket. The penalty goes ahead and gives them the first. Oh, an exceptionally painful penalty as it sets up first and ten now inside the red zone. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. such a negative play. On fourth down, the Buccaneers trying to put three on the board with Chase McLaughlin. This will be a 45-yard look from the left hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that'll get him back to 11. Well, nothing to critique there. Good snap, good hole, and it puts it through to pay off the drive with three points. and he's ready to send this fly. Hartman with a return. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. The Chiefs are out once again. Their offense led by Patrick Mahomes. First and ten now from the 30. Out 
Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. On target to Worthy. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. We're to the two-minute warning from Arrowhead. And it's the Chiefs looking at first and 10. Here's Mahomes now. Again, at 25 yards and picks up the first. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Back to the air, Mahomes. Cut by Hunt. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. The Chiefs signal for a timeout. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Throwing again, Mahomes. Cut at the ten yard line. And he's brought down inside the ten at the nine. That's again a 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. hesitate to use for a lot of reasons but four touchdowns in four drives Brock I think we can throw it out here perfection thus far yeah this game will humble you at this level I mean this is the best of the best play in it and you don't normally see this kind of execution and this kind of efficiency so I understand that word perfection I will remind everybody though it's not how you start it's how you finish but Kerr to try the point after right down the middle it's good and the Chiefs push their lead to 18. Get you down to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. 
All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to an excellent first half from the gunslinger, Patrick Mahomes. He had it going right away. Two touchdown passes in the first quarter, two more in the second. Four touchdown passes all told. And he's likely not done yet. Team gets him down to the 26-yard line. The Chiefs are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And our team in the truck put these highlights together. Well, they certainly had plenty of touchdowns to choose from for them, actually. Though the way he's been playing, Brock, you cannot count on him being done reaching that end zone just yet. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. Called in by Worthy, right side. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. Man, the defense was all over that throw. Able to stop it right at the line. They could smell that one coming, and they sniffed it out in a hurry. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Mahomes. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Had that one, but just couldn't see it through. And things look tougher now with third and long. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps, or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. Third down, it's Mahomes. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They strike for 23 yards. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Again, Mahomes to throw. Fits it through the middle. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. A 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. Well, that is a well-designed route right there. He really made it easy to get that pass to him. Creating space, QB receiver, deliver. Mahomes on first and 10. And they'll get there and stop him at the line. Okay, I'm going to call that, even though it looks like nothing on the stat sheet, a win-win for both sides. Defense, well, they rally. They get right to that throw in the flat for a no gain. The offense, well, they just remind that defense, you not only got to cover us vertically, but we're going to stretch you horizontally as well. They'll run now on second down. Who swarms in the middle. This gets maybe a yard. Stop made by K.J. Britt. Only a yard from that time, so now third nine. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal unit and Harrison Butker headed out. A 49-yarder in front of him here. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that stretches the lead to 21.
Rutger on now to kick this one away. On the return, here's Irving. His return makes it up to the 25. Now the Buccaneers set to take the field. They're down 21 now after that last score and in need of a comeback as we work through this game. start out with a first and ten. Back of the gun, White. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. So early movement for the backfield, Brock. They jumped the gun a bit, and that brings out the flag. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get back up five yards. Baker now off to play fake. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep them short of the sticks. He's driving in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. Mayfield with a blitz coming. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Whether they meant to go to him or is an adjustment on the fly, that's not the read that was going to beat this defense for a first down. That look, well, this crew defensively was prepared for and knew how to keep it short of the marker. Tampa Bay in punt formation now. Trenton Gill, the one to kick it away. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. The Kansas City offense set to take the field. And you can see in these clips quite an extensive highlight reel he's put together in what is a four-touchdown game for him already. Now, I think it's safe to say this guy's in the zone. I know in hoops, sometimes shooters say that hoop looks and that basket looks enormous. Right? I know on a golf course, you're thinking, man, everything is a birdie. For this guy today, four touchdowns on the ledger. He's made it look easy. First and ten now from the 30. Now it's Mahomes. Finds a seam down the middle. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things, separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks, that's the trust, and then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. They'll run here on first down. And he's brought down for a loss. That's got to be so frustrating for the runner. You're fighting the good fight. He even ripped through a tackle to stay afloat. But the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Tight end in motion left. Another carry for him. And the struggles continue for him tonight. He's only able to get back to the line. He didn't get anything on that run, so struggles on the ground, leaving them with third and long. That counter could never get started. Good chance someone on that line telegraphed that play because the defense was all over it. Fortunate just to make it back to the line of scrimmage. To the air, third and long. And he didn't get enough into that throw. 
complete, so they're going to be facing fourth down coming up. Intended target there was Xavier Worthy. So that brings up fourth and long. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. The Chiefs looking to put on fourth down, so on comes Matt Ariza to handle it. And that kick a little too well struck. He drives it into the end zone for a touchback. Time for us to get another look at this Tampa Bay offense. They're running out of time to get this game into a more manageable spot, Brock. We've got a three-score deficit, and we're in quarter number three. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. On the gun, Mayfield. He'll get this complete to White. And he goes out of bounds, just short of the 35. Give him 13 on that play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Simply part of the job description for any running back in today's game. You're out there, you're going to be one of your quarterback's most important safety valves. And you've got to be ready for that check down at all times. First down, here's Baker. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. I'll tell you this, you don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win, and a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. They put a receiver in motion right. First and ten. Here's Mayfield. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. So it's second down coming up. Baker now from the gun. Throwing deep for the end zone. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. And now they're staring at fourth and long. I know a DB in the stat sheet loves to see INT and not PBU. But as soon as he realized a pick was impossible, he does the next best thing and knocks it away. Hunt team is on now, and they get this away. So this one will go out of bounds, and they'll start the drive inside their own 30. The Chiefs ready for their next series, let out on offense by their quarterback. They're out and set. First and ten. Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. Front and one, Juju. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. coming from Holmes. He goes back to him yet again. Complete! And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down.
looking to throw Mahomes. Called in by Gray. He's got to gain a six there. Levante David, like so many times in his career, making that tackle. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Throwing again, Mahomes. That's worthy running slant. And he's going to be drugged down, looks like at that 37-yard line. So after that completion, we've got a player in some visible discomfort. And here come the trainers to get him some help. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Back to the air, Mahomes. He was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. He can't hang on to the pass. And it's going to be second down. You know, he might complete 99 out of 100 of the short, simple routes to the tight ends. Even the shortest and simplest of throws, well, it's due to end up in a drop at some point. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Again, Mahomes to throw. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. Not on the same page with his tight end. And now they need to get four on third down. Here's Mahomes now. Has it in close. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. Still chances to get these final four yards. It's second and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Chased out to his right. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Just not much to do right there, whether he wanted to run it or throw it. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win for this defense. Only one quarter remains in our final game of the week. That's the end of the third. It's Chiefs football, and they've got to feel pretty good about this score entering the fourth. They've held them out twice. Here we go, third and goal. Going power with a big tight end. And he's not going to reach the end zone. They bring him down at the one. 
A gain of two, and after back-to-back -back runs fail, it's fourth and goal. This is why it's so important not to overcommit to the team's lead runner. It went to a secondary ball carrier, and they cut him down for a big red zone stop. Three plays haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. They'll go. It's Mahomes. And that is caught. It's a Kansas City touchdown. The Chiefs put up even more points in a win. Man, Brock, that defense held up three straight plays. They just couldn't come up with the one final stop they needed to get off the field. And how about this offense? Courage of the offense to run it back for one more snap and make the adjustments on fourth and goal to finally punch it in. Quite the many little chess match we just saw play out over those last four plays. Butker to try the point after. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Chiefs continue piling on to this lead. Turn. Here's Irving. He stopped on the return at the 27. Tampa Bay ready to head out to the field. In all game, they have struggled to attack this deficit. Maybe they can do a little window dressing here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Mayfield thrown out of the pistol. Into traffic, complete. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Well, that right there, Kate, that is the epitome of trust. And trust in your big physical tight end. Throwing his way into double coverage. You may question the decision when the ball leaves his hands. But it's tough to question when it produces results like that. Second and six now. That one's complete right side. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. Extra man in the secondary now for the Chiefs on third down. Field now from the gun. So this one on the defense. He got too aggressive to try and stop that play, and they tag him for pass interference. First and ten, it's Mayfield. On the move, headed right. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. Second and five. From the gun, Mayfield. This is caught by Trey Palmer. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. They come through with a nice game there. Gain of 10, first down. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll go out of bounds close to the 35-yard line.
after a good pickup. They've got second and four. Baker now from the gun. Completed over the middle. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. Set up now, first and ten. One of the tight ends motioning left. Hits him on the out route. And he goes out approaching that ten yard line. a good pickup. They've got second and four. May feel the throw again. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Looked like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. And now they need to get four on third down. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. short Mayfield the throw is caught it looks like he went out of bounds right at that seven yard line four yards on the play and that picks up a first and goal Baker throwing again and they will score touchdown Tampa Bay the Buccaneers putting up points in a game decided. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Buccaneers cut the lead by a quarter. Down out of 21. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Returning it from the four. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here's the lone back on the handoff. And he maneuvers through the middle for a gain of four. Second and six coming up here. to back carries here and he's tackled with the first down yardage find me an offense that won't take that type of result every snap good execution a quality gain and then move the sticks they're set up at the 35 now first down and they go right back to it and they bring him down after he ran through him up to the 43. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one.
from the 43. Called in by Gray. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. Just excellent effort on that catch. And a lightning quick transition from bringing that football in to getting vertical. He was not content for a second to end that play where he caught it. Uh-uh. Any catch he makes, his intent is to put some serious yards on top of it. All set up now for first and ten. That's complete to Juju. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Second and six coming up here. Pistol now for Mahomes. That pass is complete to Kelsey. And he's in for the Kansas City touchdown. The Chiefs keep adding to that fourth quarter lead. Travis Kelsey, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. You love seeing a tight end get the chance to show off those wheels, right? And in the best of cases, he could rumble the whole way home. Kate, think of getting somebody with that type of mass rolling at full speed. Who's really going to want to stand in the way, wants to stop him anyhow? The answer, nobody. But Kerr to try the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Chiefs grow their lead yet again. Kick this one away. On the return, here's Irving. He stopped on the return at the 27. Here comes their offense out again. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. start out with a first and ten. Here's Baker. Grabbed by Chris Godwin. And he reaches the 35 before going out. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Field the throw. This one is hit by a defender and winds up incomplete. Intended target there was Mike Evans. And that leaves him with third and short. You know, that is so hard to do. That's called body control. Great positioning to swat the ball away, not go through the receiver, no penalty play. He's got the body control and more importantly, the timing to knock that ball away. Dumps it off to his running back. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. All you can do is shake your head sometimes. Sure, the pass play works, but they come up just an inch or two short for the first down. Less than a yard needed here on four. Mayfield to throw for it. Throw caught by his running back. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. They only needed a couple, and that is what they got. Not the most impressive game, but a big one as they get the first. Still sticking with the passing game. 
short situations you rep them all the time snap after snap rep after rep you're expecting man-to-man -man coverage in that down and distance and you're expecting to execute a time on third and short they can't get the job done desperation time here on fourth And DeAndre Hopkins getting set for this next offensive possession. With touchdowns on their last two drives, Brock, they're playing some of their best offense here. Could they try for three in a row despite the lead? Let's find out. New set of downs for him from the 46. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. in motion now. Third and short. Here's Mahomes. Completes this one to Gray. And he's taken down at the 30. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. Well, they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards. And that's no easy job, mind you, tackling a big tight end. But the main damage had already been done. He kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of game. and he gets the handoff. And he's brought down after taking this to the 26. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. They ruminate on the outcome of this game. You never like taking one on the chin, even on the road. 
And heading home just gives them all extra time to think about what went wrong, or more importantly, how to fix it. With Brock Heward and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Chiefs, as we say so long from Kansas City.